Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. It's Brenda. Today I have a new kit share and I'm going to show you uh, what I've made and what I'll be working on the next few days. But I wanted to show off this lovely little kit from Antonio. It's called the Sweet Garden. It's florals and birds and just lovely colors. So I thought it would be a perfect um, spring kind of uh, kit. Excuse the shadows. It's very, very sunny outside and I have a lot of shadow on my desk. And I'm going to try not to put my arm across there so that uh, you can see everything. But we have a couple of birds with text and these beautiful pink flowers in the back. Just lovely. I think this is, has to be one of my favorite pages with the the branches with all the birds on them and then the colors and the writing in the background. But these can be cut out and used as uh, card fronts if you want to make cards to uh, send to somebody or you can, you know, you don't have to use it as is. It can also be a journal page you can use it as a journal cover. So there's a few uh, there's a few uses for them too, which is great. And this lovely bird. And again, you can fussy cut around the bird and use it as a side tuck. You can cut out the flowers. You can fussy cut anything out and use them as well. And then here we have the little uh, milk box. So you'll just cut it out and where all the lines are, that's all your folds. So you'll fold it all up. And it's got the beautiful birds and the butterflies on there. Excuse the sniffles this morning. And then these lovely, lovely flowers. And again, these can be fussy cut. I did cussy... <laughs> Sorry. I did fussy cut these two flowers out and I'll show you that, that I've I've done a few things in the journal already. And then we have our tags. Like, look at the vibrancy in the colors of them. It's just so gorgeous. Just love that. And then this page with the birds. And again, you can, you can fussy cut some of the butterflies out. This sweet little bird right there, he's just so cute. And then you have the text in the background. I really like that. So if you go to Antonio's uh, website <clears throat> and you purchase this kit or any other kit, it doesn't matter, and you put in my code, my Brenda10 code, you'll receive 10% off your purchase, which is so fabulous. All right, I wanted to just put that out there so that you would know. Anyway, that one's the sweet garden. And it's draw day today. So we're, we're just going to do a few things today in the journal and then, uh, and then we'll get to that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is what I've made. It's a cracker box for the cover that I used. And I just covered it with some cotton fabric. And you can still see the box underneath, but that's okay because I'm going to cover it with uh, lace. This, I don't normally, I work with lace, but not a whole bunch. But I think I'm going to add some extra lace to this. <laughs> just because it's, just because of the colors, I think, more than anything. And I finally got to coffee dyeing some paper the other day, which is good. So I just have some random papers in here. And then this is this is the bird that I had fussy cut out. I just I just went to the side and I just started cutting around it and then I made it shorter to be long enough for the page because I was thinking to add it here just gluing the three sides and then having a, a tag or a journaling card or something in there. That's the thought anyway. 
so how's everyone? I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've had a wonderful week. So my week's been pretty good. So I made this and then I have this big tag inside. I didn't put anything on the back of it. I'll probably put some of that um, kids construction paper behind it. And then I altered a paper clip. And uh, I, yesterday, Wednesday actually, I had been way ahead of myself. I did a video and I did the draw and then I deleted everything because it was only Wednesday. Like I was so ahead of myself. So those of you that saw my post yesterday and, you know, sent messages to me, thank you, thank you for your kindness because I just was, I don't know what happened. But anyway, so to be fair, I deleted the video and we're going to do the redraws and these, so these are the little projects that I had done uh, earlier. So I just wanted to put that out there. Look at these sweet little birds. See, I just cut the page down. And then I used the other half for other things. And then made this envelope. And then these, these for whatever reason, my printer decided to print double-sided. But it worked out to my benefit because then there's no white space in the envelope. And then I just added some different little stickers inside there so I thought that was fun and then we did this other altered paper clip here and they're so simple and they're so easy to make and they're fun and you can add lace to the end of it here if you wanted to and have it hanging out you could do that as well and then of course you can add something else there I have one of these little tags. I could just pop it right there. And then our center, I took a book from a, a bird picture from a, a book. Oh my goodness. And then I just, I didn't want to cut it all off. So I just trimmed it at the top and then I folded up the bottom. And then on the other side is the other fold so that there would be a pocket on the inside and one on the outside. And then another there. And then here is where I fussy cut the two flowers. I was going to leave the leaves, but they stuck out pretty far. So I trimmed them around and then I just left it as a tuck spot and I added a couple of the tags inside there. And the other side of that pretty paper. And that's as far as uh, I've got. So yeah. And it's... I'm going to sit it under, under something a little heavier just to help close it. Um, the trick is to soften up the spine. Because it was a stiff spine. But what I did is I took my scoreboard... <clears throat> In every line, I scored a few times on both sides so that I could round it off a little bit instead of having it completely square. And then I just added some fabric on the inside of it. <clears throat> Siri. I don't add uh, paper to the spine because I don't want it to crack and break. And there's always the potential of that happening. So I like to use uh, fabric. And then that doesn't happen. All right. So just to help get things started, I've just cut out a few pieces of paper. And I have tags. And then I'm just using this kid's uh, construction paper art paper. It's from the dollar store and I'm just using it to back. But uh, before we do that, I wanted to just show you this and get my tab. So I have this. Uh... Oh, there we go. I 
have a frame maker that, um, here it is. It's called a frame punch board. It's by We Are Memory Keepers. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got it from, uh, I think this one I received from Amazon. It's a very nifty tool. Anyway, I cut, I just cut a page for a pocket, whatever size you want. And then on it, it has quarter inch, half inch, uh, one inch, and then you just even both sides. You put your paper in and you punch and it makes a little groove so that when you come over here and you slide your paper in like this, this is your cutter. So you'll just pop it in there and then you'll run it across to make the frame. So I thought that was a very nifty tool. And so, yeah, I picked one up and I've been playing with it. And then what you're left with is this center. So I just, I had some two loose pearls and I didn't want to lose them. So I added them to the corner there. But this is going to be the tag that goes inside. And then I just used my tab punch and then that'll be a tab uh, to go on it. But I don't have um, oh, vellum, I guess. So, but I do have some acetate. This stuff is very, very, um, everything sticks to it. <laughs> I mean, everything. But um, I'm going to glue it to the back so that it'll make a pocket. I measured it out so that I could just glue it onto there and then we're gonna make it a pocket, a side pocket for the tag. So let's do that. I tried to prepare a few things ahead of time just so that, you know, we weren't here for a long time. And I'm just going to go around the edge with my glue. Oh, I thought it was down. Yeah, there's lots of shadows today. I apologize. And it just depends on what time of the day it is. Because, well, we haven't had much sun in the last little while. So I haven't really had to deal with that. Woo! Did you see that? That was full static, full on static. It just came right up to meet it. <laughs> that was weird. There we go. I'm just gonna fan the glue out because I don't want it to come in the window. You can use double-sided tape here. I'm thinking this glue will be okay. There we go, and there we have a window, and it's a dusty window. But hopefully once I get it glued down, I can, um, I can fix it. I'm not sure what's on there. You see all these little imperfections when you put things together. All right, so let's just grab our journal. <clears throat> find a page. I try to even things out in places, but you know, sometimes it doesn't work. Well, that's too big for there. Did I do it too big? Well, I might have to do some trimming, but that's how it goes. But you can even make this a belly band. You know, you can, if you make it a skinny one, like skinnier, and then you can have something that goes right through and then you can see all the pretties in there. I'm just going to give it a little trim because I'm thinking it's too tall. And just make the other side even, hopefully.
There we go, that's a little better. And I'm just gonna glue the three sides and leave the one side open. Do you have plans for the weekend? Are you doing anything? Do you have to work? I know that there's a lot of us that have to work. Well, I shouldn't say us. I don't have to work on the weekends anymore. But There we go. Just try to use my bone folder because it's longer and I can spread it out. There we go, a pretty little pocket. And then our birds, I'm just going to ink it up a little bit with my ground espresso. But you can use, you can use any color you want. You know, it doesn't have to be the vintage photo. That, those are just the um, the colors that most people use, I guess. But it's nice to it's nice to break out of that box and use other colors. Add my tab. I'm just going to add it to the edge here. It just it just helps to uh, pull it out. And then the other side has, it's not a blank uh, side, but you it's still, you can color on it. Or color. You can still write on it. Oh boy, I think my, my speech is in rare form today. All right. And then we'll just slip it in there like that. And there you go. And then you can see through the pocket. So pretty. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> okay, and these, I just, I just cut some of the papers that I had extra of. And uh, these are all on 65 pound cardstock. My printer, I guess the rollers were your paper. You know, when it grabs your paper to print, they were dusty, which makes sense because paper gives off a lot of dust. And so Tom, my husband, he cleaned them and now my printer takes 65 pound cardstock. So that's awesome. I'm happy about that because I do like to print on the heavier cardstock especially if I'm making uh, pockets and that and then I don't have to back them with other paper which is fun so these these are on the cardstock as well but I just like to back these with the, being tags because they're going to come in and out of pockets and they're going to get written on and so th I just love that image and then there's that caramel paper. And then this was a tag, but it, um, the top of it broke. So it can become a different shaped tag now instead of having the, the other top. It'll just have a normal tag shape. Just like that. Oh, let's get this out of the way. I just have little pieces of fabric and stuff here. Use them as toppers. Why not? It doesn't, or you can just, you know, make tabs. I don't, I just don't want to, uh, you can just see his eye peeking out. <laughs> so. Do 
just going to staple it on if I can. Try and miss his eye, and I did. So, and then just like that, you have a tag, you know. But any kind of paper that you have, scrapbooking paper, you can make tags with that. You can do your master boards, you know, you put all your paper, all your pretties on a master board and then cut them up. And uh, you can make tags. And then there's, I don't know, I was just cutting paper. Cutting shapes with uh, the paper that I had. I just thought they were so pretty that I just needed to do something with them. I never, I didn't back that one, but I mean, this could be a, um, a journaling card. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add some lines to the back. And then I just grab a ruler to do that. I just have this, my rulers, of course, they, they disappear every now and again. <laughs> so who knows where they are today? And this is just a, uh, it's a marker, but it's like a little brush, a brush marker. But you can use a pencil, you can use a pen, it doesn't have to be anything special. And then I just add lines. And I don't make them straight, like to meet with each other side to side. You can do them all different lengths. It just adds interest, I think. And you don't have to do the whole page if you don't want to, but you don't even have to use a ruler, but try to be a little straight. I try to be a little straight anyway. There we go. There, just do that. And then the lid is somewhere. And then you can just grab some stamps. I just, oh, grab a bunch of stamps here. And then I'm just gonna do a little stamp at the bottom. Excuse my arm. Grab some black ink. And then I'm just gonna, it just adds interest to it. Just like that. Set that over there. And then you can round the corners if you'd like. But uh, let's see here. And I like that we're doing things that are loose because then they can be put uh, wherever you want them to be. So it can go just here, it can be attached. So if we do that, let's just. Let's just do an altered paper clip since uh, we got that. That was missed. I just have these colored paper clips. I just use the white. And then you can take scraps. I have some scraps here. I don't usually throw these away because when I do master boards and stuff, these are perfect to use. So if you're going to alter a paper clip, you want to put your paper or your fabric on the side that is closed. And then I'm just going to fold it down. And we'll do one that's just hanging. I like doing paper clips because you can make them as pretty as you want. You can do whatever you want with them. There's no, well, there's no rules on how to do them. Just do them and make them pretty. And I'm just gonna tear the bottom 
a little bit. Oh, that one kind of moved over. There we go. All right, and then you can just build on it. I have I have this little box, and I have it filled with uh, different little things and some laces. But ugh. I do that so that I don't have a straight edge on it. But you can just add some lace. But doing paper clips is so quick and so satisfying because you can use up all your scraps and you're making something lovely. You know, you just, just start building. I'm just going to slide that right, bring it down a little, slide it underneath there. Hmm, let's see what else I have. Sorry, I don't know if you want to see inside my box. There's really not much to see. It's just a lot of papers and embellishments. And oh, let's use that. It's the wrong color, it's not pink or anything, but I'm thinking it'll be okay. Just ink it up a little. Because we do have bluebirds, and we'll see if I can do it. It's an old sticker, so please bear with me for a second. Oh, there she goes. All right. Good, good. All right. So I'm just going to give it a little tuck under there and put it there. And I'm just going to snip off the corner here, just because it is sticky. There we go, just like that. And then you can add a number, you can add a word, whatever you'd like. I don't think I have any mini words in here. But, uh, oh, I have, I have this little bit. Why don't I just add, we'll see if I can cut it down this little, or rip it down this tiny little word. And then I'll grab my glue stick because it just makes it a little easier, especially with tiny things. Just like that. And then we'll just add a word to it. Letters, words, whatever. And there we have an ultra paper clip. So cute, right? It just, it's just so quick and so cute. And so, where did I, did I put one in here? I did stick it in here somewhere, yes. All right, and then we can just add this uh, to the page. Oh, it has to go on the other side. <sighs> Why? Because I put the, um, the, the second looped one is facing this way. So then that's the way it's going to go onto a page. If I had done it this way, then it would go this way on the page. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. But if you grab a paper clip, you'll see what I mean. And then that'll just go right on there. Oh, that is so cute. And then you can just add something to the back there. And I have uh, let's see what kind of little goodies I have here. Oh, I just have some random uh, pink lace here. Just this stuff. Why not use it? It's just sitting on the desk. I'm just going to grab one of these tags. One of these little tags. Oh, that's backwards, I think. I can never tell especially with this kind of stuff, whether it's backwards or not, because both sides are bumpy. So then how do you tell? Get that 
through there. But this is what happened when I tore my other one. <laughs> I was just a little too rambunctious in uh, pulling. So there we go. We have a little tag. You can back it, of course. You don't have to back everything because, you know, it's... You can put a pocket back there if you want. That would be cute, too. Doesn't all have to be for uh, writing space, you know. You can add a little... Add a little something back there. Let's just do that. Why not? I'll use the writing side. Just like that. Um, oop. Things are getting sticky. There, and it's just going to be a little tuck spot. So how fun would that be? So then you're just going to glue your three sides. Maybe. If my glue decides to come out today. There we go. And there, I got a little tuck spot. And you can still do some writing there if you want, you know, and then when you put, put some little goodies in behind there, let's see what I have. I just have this little tag there, can do that. What else do I have in this box? This surprise box, a little flower. Oh yeah, that's okay like that. Right, and you can still do writing underneath it, which is perfect. And then you can just add it, add it here, just like that. And you can have the your little tab there hang out. And so that's what we have. All right, so where's that big bird? So I think I am going to add it. I left it till last just to, but I think I will do that. It's just a nice opportunity for larger tags or journaling cards, letter to go into. It's just a nice big spot for something to go into. So I'm just going to bring it not quite to the to the stitching there, but back far enough so that his beak is still on the page. And these papers are smaller than the eight and a half by eleven because I had to accommodate for the cracker box, right? So then this will just fit in like that and then you have a really nice large pocket so yep yeah. put that there and this one i'm gonna i haven't backed this one yet but i will and then it can get added in and then we're just gonna do one more thing and then we'll get to the draw Gonna get to the draw and then uh, I'll let you just get on with your day because I know we all have things to do. So this, it could be a bookmark, it could be a belly band, it can be whatever you want it to be. And if you're gonna have it as a belly band, hmm, let me find a page. I don't know. Let's see, because um, it is taller, it can be cut down, but I just love that little bird. He's so, so sweet. But if I make him a belly band, it doesn't have to be in the middle. You can have a belly band here, you can have it over here. 
but I think I'm going to make it a side pocket on the page just like that and I'm going to have it just off of the page to go with mm, I don't know all right let me trim We'll see how good I am at doing a straight line. And I still have enough ink on my dauber, so. All right. So I'm going to add it, oh, maybe a little bit over here, I think. It doesn't have to be centered. And I'm just gonna glue the top and the bottom of it. I don't have any corner tucks or anything yet, but uh, she's already getting chunky. All right, so let's just add it. Right there. Oops, kind of moved on me. There we go. Oh, that's so pretty. And then it's a belly band, and you can you can have uh, you can have things sticking out, you know, just peeking out like that. That's very cute. And then here's another one. You can just have them peeking out just like that. But how cute is that, right? So I think I'll just leave this in here for now. I'm just going to set them like that. Just like that. And you don't have to have it as a belly band. You can glue right down the side here and just have it as a pocket. That might happen. I don't know. But um, I'm hoping to add lace to it. And I just have some different types of laces and I have to add stuff to the spine. So I'm thinking this for the spine just because it's so pretty and I think that would look really really nice but uh, that'll be for that'll be for next time hmm no if it's okay with you let's just add it I'm sorry if if it seems like I'm all over the place I'm trying not to be I just my mind is just a going with um, with what to do, how to do it. So I have a whole bunch of different laces and so let's just do it. And this lace was from uh, Dollarama. So, and it was quite a while ago. I'm really hoping that they get more in one of these days. All right, so I'm going to add, I'm going to add glue all the way down the center. Yeah, a nice amount. Because it's going to hold the center of the ribbon where the lace, where the, um, where that trim is as well. Just like that. But this, this lace is so, so pretty. There we go. And then it holds in the center so that you can... Um, start gluing the front and the back. Just like that. And you can add more, of course, to it. Like, you know, you can layer your lace underneath if you'd like and just kind of build it up. 
so it's it's whatever you want it's your choice and then I just come to the back we'll add it to the back there we go and if the little ends are still loose I don't mind that as long as it's not going to be uh, floppy, you know, like flapping over or whatever. And then I can just trim. Come back and trim it. There we go. But it's, it's so pretty. What do you think of that? And then there's the back and then the spine. So that's what I mean by even if you still see the box underneath, <clears throat> once you start building on it and adding to it, you're not going to see anything. All right. So that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that was all right. So we made our belly band and we have our huge pocket there. And then this we had done before. Well, I had done before, sorry. And then our tag there, but we did our window pocket with the card inside with the tab. And then that, and then we have our tag here and the altered paper clip that we made. All right. So that's, that's what we have for today. So now, mm-hmm, dun da da it's giveaway time. I know, a little crazy, but it's Friday. We're having fun. It's a good day, and uh, it's giveaway day, which makes it even better. Right, so I have everybody's name. I just have a bunch of little papers. Just a bunch of little papers. And these are the people that said yes, they wanted to be included. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do. So I have extras, of course. So I have, uh, these are the first five. So we're going to, I need to turn these over because they opened just like that. All right. Lulu Fabrique. You've won a giveaway. Lenore Sherman. You've won a giveaway. I'm just grabbing papers because everybody's going to win. Beverly Nielsen. You've won a giveaway. Anne Alba. Kathleen S. Sherry Liberto. You've won a giveaway. Catherine Eastwood. Caroline from Caroline's Craft Tree. And Mel. Mel C. I put your name in there as well. All right, ladies. So if you would please contact me. We have more than five winners, which is great. And I have other packages ready to go as well. So I would really like to get everything out by Wednesday. So if you could all please contact me, then um, I can get everything packaged up and ready to go. All right, there's another one. Hopefully you can see all the names, even though I've said them all. There you go. So these are our winners. Congratulations, ladies. And there's Lulu's as well. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Have a very blessed weekend. Thanks 
all of you for being here with me. Thank you for liking and subscribing and for all your lovely comments. Thank you for all your messages and the pictures that you send me of things that you've made and created with our videos. Take care. God bless. Bye for now.